Hey guys, welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to let you know some Visual Studio 2019 shortcuts, which can help you to save a lot of time. There are a lot of shortcuts available in Visual Studio to make our development more faster and easier. So today we are going to learn about five of those shortcuts or tips, which I personally feel very useful. So let's begin with the tip number one, that is smart line break. Let's say that I want to create a constructor or method in this class. So I'm gonna type public test class. And then I need to provide the open and closing curly braces and have to update the indentation. After that, I have to move my cursor to the correct place to start writing the code inside the block. So instead of that, what I can do, I can go over here and press shift plus enter. Here you can see it automatically added the curly braces and moved the cursor to the exact position from where we have to start writing the code. We can use this shortcut for any kind of block. Let's say that I have to create an if condition, then I can add the if condition and press shift plus enter. Here you can see that it created the curly braces and moved the cursor to the correct place. So you can do this trick for a method, class, or any kind of block. Now let's move to the next step. That is to create properties directly from the constructor argument. So I'm gonna create a constructor in this class, which takes two arguments. Let's say, for example, the first argument is the string locator type. And the second argument is the string locator value. Now I can create properties in this class directly from these constructor arguments. Let's say that I want to create a property for the argument locator type. So just click on this argument and press control dot. Here you can see that it pop ups the list from where you can select the option, create and assign property locator type. When you select this option, it will automatically create a property for locator type. Now let's say that you want to create the property for second argument as well. Then again, press control plus start and then select the option, create and assign property locator value from the list. And here it created another property for locator value. So this is how you can create properties directly from the constructor arguments. Now we can perform the vice versa action as well. Means that we can create the constructor directly from the properties. So let's see that, how can we do that? First of all, I'm gonna create properties in this class. And here is the tip number three, shortcut for creating properties. You can create the properties by typing keyword prop and then press tab twice. Here you can see that it created a property for us. Also, if you want to create a full property, then you can type prop full and then press the tab twice. Here you can see that it generated the field and the full property. So this is pretty cool shortcut to create the properties which can save a lot of time. Now let's go back to the tip number two. If we can create the constructor directly from the properties. So I'm gonna create two properties one is for locator type, and then second one is for locator value. Now click on the property and then press control dot. Then select the generate constructor test class from the list. Here you can see that it created a constructor which takes the argument string locator type. Now again, press control dot on second property and then select the option add parameters to test class from this list. Here you can see that it added one more parameter to the constructor for a string locator value. So this is how you can create properties from constructor and vice versa. Now let's move to our tip number four. That is to create an null empty check for an argument. Click on the argument and then press control dot. 
here you can select the option to add string dot is null or empty check you can also add the is null or white space check based on your requirement once you click on this option it will create a null or empty check for the locator type argument and then you can write your own code based on your requirement similarly you can add the null check for the other argument as well just press control dot and then select the add null or empty check option so this is how you can add the null check for the argument with a shortcut now the next step is step number 5 that is add missing directory on paste let's add an object of i web driver in this class and i have to add the open qa.selenium library to use this i web driver object now let's say that i have another class with me named as demo class and in that class i have to copy and paste the statement or logic from my test class so if i copy this statement from test class to demo class then you can see that this i web driver could not be found in this class because we have not used the open qa.selenium directive in this class and we have to add that directive again and again on all classes so to avoid it let's go to the tools menu and then select options then in option window select text editor expand it select c sharp and then click on advance so if you scroll down then you will find the option for add missing using directives on paste I'm going to click on this checkbox to turn it on. And then let's go back to the class. Now let's copy this statement from the test class and then paste it into the demo class again. Now you can see that it automatically added the directives using open qa.selenium in demo class as well. So this is how you can use the shortcuts or tips to make your development faster and easier. I hope you like the video please like and subscribe to the channel also please don't forget to click on the bell icon thank you